Oh yeah, it was war zone. I mean, it you know it's kind of reminiscent of you know situations like with the Moore tornado or any of those just destructive ones that took a building and just and just tore it up. So the whole roof was just rolled into rolled into a burrito basically. The power of Mother Nature on full display. Hours after damaging tornadoes and storms swept through the OKC metro in the dead of night early Sunday morning. According to Dr. Kathy Walker, superintendent of Newcastle Public Schools, the gym at Newcastle Elementary appears to have the most damage in the district. They had a standing seam metal roof on this building, and then at another point in time, they overlaid it with a single ply. So that's why you see that big white membrane out there. So what happened was the wind got underneath the membrane, picked the white membrane roof up, and rolled up the metal at the same time, and probably three-fourths of it was sitting in the parking lot with nothing left but the insulation uh, on the building. In a statement made on Facebook, Walker says the elementary school will hold class virtually Monday and Tuesday and that the school's principal will reach out to parents with additional information about how those virtual days will work. As it goes for the rest of the district, schools will have a normal in-person school day on Monday. State Superintendent of Education Ryan Walters also responding to the storm's damage, saying in part, quote, Last night's storms have caused significant damage and uprooted lives across our state, including considerable damage at Newcastle Elementary School. I have directed all available OSDE resources to assist our schools and communities during this emergency. Destruction after what people in southeast Oklahoma City thought was a typical thunderstorm. Katie Anderson and her husband Jackson were jolted awake early Sunday morning. We woke up to the National Weather Service alerts on our phones um, and it like took us a second to understand like what it was. Debris crashing into their backyard, including someone else's boat. Plus the weight of the rapid rainfall caused their roof to collapse in multiple places, including just feet from their bed. I could only see when there was flashes of lightning like as we were going, but it was just random things like moving. So it wasn't just like your normal thunderstorm. Anderson was living in Shawnee when the April 2023 tornado damaged her home there. She moved to southeast Oklahoma City only to experience another destructive storm less than two years later. The fact that we woke up is a miracle. Every single thing is replaceable, but the people aren't. And so for us to walk away with like absolutely no injuries, no issues at all, like that to me means way more than whether or not I have a couch or a roof. In comparison to what some of her neighbors are experiencing, she says they are lucky. Vehicles flipped, lost roofs, or complete second stories gone. It's really, really bad down there. Joshua Jetto and his family live in this neighborhood. Thankfully, they're all okay. He tells us they heard the sirens once the storm already hit, but woke up to debris smashing in their windows. Our grill went flying, everything just destroyed a whole backyard. Several people said they never heard the sirens, only the alarms on their phones waking them up. Shane Barker said he felt like he and his dog had seconds to shelter before the tornado hit. And I looked outside and within like five seconds, all hell broke loose. Several people told us they had to rush to a bathroom or closet without enough time to make it into their storm shelters. I heard the house being hit by everything in the house shaking in the roar like you always hear about. There wasn't much time to even take in what happened overnight. With thunderstorms continuing to roll through while people try to clear debris and salvage what they can. There's no rhyme or reason to like what is damaged in a tornado. Um, and it just feels like a very surreal experience. up after then. Hayden, thank you. Now to the severe weather hitting central U.S. Tornado slamming Oklahoma over the weekend. ABC's Allison Kosick looks at the damage. This morning, a trail of destruction after multiple reported tornadoes tore through parts of Oklahoma, one touching down in Oklahoma City. Nearly a dozen people injured. It was really, really heavy rain that woke us up and some thunder. And by the time we got up out of bed to turn the news on or see what the news was saying, then the train came over our, our roof. You know, it was pretty, 
pretty loud, pretty powerful. One tornado, a powerful EF3 with winds of at least 136 miles per hour. Dozens of homes and buildings were damaged or destroyed. Cars flipped over, homes ripped apart. The storms snapped trees, downed power lines, and broke gas lines. At least 30,000 power outages were reported. Oklahoma's governor issuing an emergency declaration for six counties. Storms coming, so don't rely on don't rely on the sirens. Make sure you're watching your news and uh, um, the, your, your, your cell phones taking cover when you can. The state now making sure that polling stations are up and running for election day tomorrow. We just wanted Oklahomans to know big election on Tuesday, and we just want them to know we are prioritizing with our utilities to make sure that those power that power is up at those polling stations. The governor says if any issues are reported at polling places tomorrow, voters will be rerouted to other locations to cast their ballots. Allison Kosick, ABC News, New York. Kaden, thank you. Across America, several neighborhoods near Oklahoma City were wiped out over the weekend from a deadly tornado. According to officials, at least 100 homes were damaged statewide. As of Sunday afternoon, officials were still working on getting power restored to most of the area. They say that restoring the power is crucial ahead of Election Day tomorrow. Voters will be rerouted to other locations to cast their ballots if they encounter any issues. Former President Barack Obama campaigned for Democrats in Wisconsin yesterday. He joked with the crowd in Milwaukee that he would keep it short so they wouldn't miss the Packers game. He blasted.